Okay, here we are. We are live on the World Sports Chiropractic Chat Show again. And tonight it is the lowdown before the showdown. So we have Dr. Christine Fast from America, mm -hmm. and she is going to give us uh, lots and lots of information of the up and coming fixed symposium, the athlete's journey, which, you know what, I am super excited, uh, super proud for having been a part of the whole, whole thing up until now. And uh, of course, our leading light. Uh, Christine, who has done an absolute amazing Mount Everest climb in sorting stuff out there for us. I mean, she is here today, and I will gladly give her the limelight when it comes to all of this. So, Christine, great to have you on the show again. Mika, it's so nice to see you, and I just love your enthusiasm every time we talk. It's so great. <clears throat> really excited to talk about the Fixed Global Symposium. Super excited about the lineup and um, how great we've been able to pull everybody together, um, even in, in the instance of the global pandemic and pull the great minds and sports chiropractic together to help teach us and let us all grow and continue to get ready for when the doors open up and we can be on the field and traveling with teams again, we're all ready to treat our athletes in the office and out of the office. Absolutely, absolutely. And do you know what, it's been, it's been a bit of a learning experience, I have to say on my behalf anyways, uh, putting this whole symposium together, and I'm, I'm sure you have uh, you have uh, picked up a few few things there as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's been a bit of a rocky road at times, but we so far we made good. You know what? It's uh, Fix is such a great group of people that work with them. That you know, for me, it's really a pleasure. Even in the rockiest of times, we can kind of figure it out and make sure you know we all kind of work together for the greater good, which I think is really excellent. And that's the nice thing about. I think the people it's just the quality of people absolutely right now do you know it's the funniest thing actually the first time I went for a job interview and uh, I remember I put down at the bottom of my CV I just put this little thing uh, like a motto or something I just put it put down I said uh, everything will always sort itself out one yeah. way or the other sooner or the sooner or later yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and uh, I remember I went for the interview and uh, and uh, afterwards I, I was just having a chat and I said so how, how, how did it go and they said, well, basically, you had the job with that motto already. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's, you know, yeah. you're right. And if everybody can just get in the same direction, no matter what crops up, just like as we were planning this fixed symposium, no matter what crops up, we have such great people behind us. And everybody mm. kind of has a different perspective. And the nice thing is we're all from different areas of the globe. So we can kind of all contribute our perspective for you know, a greater mission. And I think it works out pretty nicely to hear everybody's point of view and you know, moving forward and planning. Oh, absolutely right. And I think, you know what, in all honesty, I mean, you, you've, been, uh, you've been really the key driver of the speaker lineup, mm -hmm. which I have to say is, is, give, is making me tingly all over, you know, just in anticipation of uh, hearing these guys and girls deliver their stuff. Um, but tell me, who's your sort of, uh, if you have to choose, who's your number one speaker? Ooh. Who's your favorite? That's a tough one. I have, um, I hate to say favorites because so many of these people are just so wonderful that are going to talk. And everybody. Okay, give me top, top three then. Give me top three. <laughs> you're, you're putting a lot of pressure on me, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I'm was, doing it on purpose. You know, a lot of this, you're going to come away from this seminar being greater in in so many in so many ways not only soft tissue taping understanding you know the whole motto of this um of the athlete's journey is really for fix to kind of take you on a stroll with us through um what it takes to be an athlete and what it takes to care for an athlete so you know we begin with looking at the fascia with carla stecco who's just I get goosebumps, you know, we, that's the only pre-recorded out of all of it. Everything else is live um, just because she had a conflict, but she's amazing, amazing. Um, and the research there. And then we have Jill Cook, who's one of the foremost researchers in tendinopathy, giving us a lecture on the latest, greatest research and how we can approach tendinopathies as sports chiros, um, mm. which gives us kind of the cutting edge um, information. And I think, you know, there's so many good speakers. Mika, you're speaking on breathing, which is going to be really amazing. Oh, thank you. Very kind of you to, oh, to mention my name. Me, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'll be doing doing my little bit, my humble bit in there uh, somewhere in, uh, in amidst the superstars, if you like. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, no, I'm I'm really excited to to be yeah. sharing the stage, like they say, and uh, I'm very honoured. Of course, I didn't I didn't expect that in in the least, but uh, no, thank you guys for for inviting me on. That's really cool. You know, and, it's, it's, uh, and the thing about breathing is, and I tell all my athletes, it's not the only thing you do, but it needs to be the first thing you do in sorting out not only your performance, but also your rehabilitation potential. So I think that's gonna be really important, you know, for us to kind of grab that. The most simplistic of things sometimes has the biggest impact. Absolutely right. And it's one of those things, you know, where a lot of people, when you you mention breathing, you know, they, they pay attention to two breaths in their lives, you know, the first one is the first one, and the last one is the last one. Yeah. And uh, all of the all of the breaths in the middle, they just get almost mm-hmm. like forgotten. And right. there's there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding, and 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 there's a lot of room for tinkering there, that will uh, enable the athletes to perform and really reach their potential. So that's really going to be absolutely really cool, and yeah. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that little presentation as well. Yeah, and I think you know to hear. When you say we're going to talk about breathing, people are like, oh, that sounds simplistic. But I'll tell you, <laughs> I just had a power lifter yesterday come to the office and um, he had a big competition and he lost all the mobility in his shoulder. And uh, so I had him lay on the table and he had no internal external rotation. Maybe he had combined 40 degrees combined wow. and you're supposed to have 180, right? So yeah. I said, before we do anything, let's just check your breathing. And I had him do breathing exercises and I reorganized his breathing and then rechecked his range of motion. He had almost normal range of motion. And he looked at me, he's wow. like, that was really easy. What the heck did you just do to me? <laughs> so I think the breathing is underrated, you know, but really super impactful for sure. So super excited Absolutely to hear what right. you got. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be, hopefully, hopefully people will enjoy that presentation anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I've obviously I've I've heard of Carla Stecco and Jill Cook, and uh, you know um, I I don't know all of their work, but I'm really looking forward to to hearing them myself because that's something where I'm I've been fascinated by fascia and and all of these things for a long yeah. time now, and I think yeah. that the best place to hear it is from the actual people who do it who live it. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, and when Carla talks, you'll you'll hear her talk a lot about you know she dissects the fascia. Uh, and puts it under the slides and you can see at different moments in injury or different moments in um, cycles, you know, whether you're inflamed or not, then the fascia changes, the components of the fascia change. So even the most superficial layer of fascia is so significant in rehabilitation and our thought process as we're bringing an athlete back through their journey um, that that lecture is going to give you more information than you think it's going to give you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that's something that, you know, like a lot of my colleagues, I'm sure, you know, they have they have pretty much ignored fascia, you know, like yeah. like you know, most people have. Mm-hmm. But uh, obviously those people who are in the know, uh, they you know, they they'll never go back. They understand how it functions and that's where they get absolute amazing results. So, right. yeah, no, that's definitely a, a, a real, real highlight of this thing for me. And I'm sure a lot of people want to hear that those lectures. So get your tickets now, sign up. Um, I think uh, I had a chat with uh, Trish earlier. She was saying that the the actual end. How, how what did she say? So the so the app kind of thing is going to be live in a couple of weeks, mm-hmm. where all the participants will then be able to pick their lectures and 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 uh, uh, allocate their schedules so they don't miss all of these amazing lectures. So yeah. that's going to be all live. And get your tickets now because you don't want to miss this out. That yeah. is absolutely amazing. I I think that. You know, we've really kind of nailed it with the uh, speakers that we have and the vast perspective. I mean, everything from caring for an athlete to triaging an athlete to getting your brain focused on how to approach the athlete to taping. You know, we also have um, lots of really my lecture. The athletes is the athlete's journey, which is kind of is the kickoff right after Carla Steckos is uh, sponsored by Foot Levelers. So we have a lot of really fabulous sponsors, standard process. Cairo Up has been wonderful for us, um, and they're a really great sponsor as well. So, uh, you know, looking to for you to also engage with the sponsors when you're at the seminar symposium. Absolutely. And talking about sponsors, yeah, there's going to be uh, the sponsors area where they have booths and things. So you can check out the goods from Hyper Ice and, and all these uh, all these amazing, amazing pieces of kit, like the, what did the Hyper Ice do? The, th- the, the massage guns, the hypervolts and and they got their normatech range and all this kind of recovery stuff that athletes 
really lap up. It's amazing. You know, yeah. you, I don't think you have an Ironman athlete who doesn't use Norma Tech nowadays. That's exactly know. right. Exactly. And those are the kind of you, those are the kind of things you can actually have in your clinic, uh, and then therefore encourage athletes to come into your clinic and uh, and actually use them there, which is really cool. I only found out uh, found out about that recently. Yeah, and you know you need the tools if you want to treat athletes. You need the tools. Um, mm. we, we talk about that a lot, and so engaging with those speakers is an important part of the symposium as well. You know, I think that that's. You know, gritting all the great information and uh, finding out what Mika's favorite drink is, is going to be important. But I think, also, I think also, you know, figuring out how you want your practice to look. And, and one of the other speakers, we have a, a business panel. Um, so we have yeah. some experts talking on marketing and how we're going to, how you want to put yourself out there as a sports Cairo. So there's that perspective also that you'll get in the symposium, which I think will be, um, you know, a different approach as well. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's it's a very important part of the uh, maybe it's the sports chiropractor's journey, you know, the, the marketing side of things and, and yeah. how to actually put yourself out and talk the right language to the athletes and, and that kind of thing. So, you know, that, of course, is a very important part from, I suppose, from our side of the fence, not necessarily from the athlete side of the fence. But, yeah. you know, for us to know that it will uh, it will make the journey so much easier for us, I reckon. Yeah. And I think, you know, as we put ourselves out there to do things like cover events and work with high level athletes or even weekend warriors, we need to be prepared, not only um, physically, but also intellectually. Right. With the right information and the right research. So we're treating appropriately, but also understand that we're representatives and, and ambassadors of our very great profession. And we need to go so. out there with the best knowledge, you know, and we need to. Um, Put our best foot forward for the name for you know for chiropractic in general and i think mm. you know really doing a symposium like this that's uh given by a multitude of different types of providers you know we have mds and pts and chiros and atcs presenting you'll understand the team's perspective of that's working right. with an athlete which is important absolutely it is i mean if you if, if you are a sports car or you're lucky enough to be uh find your way into a big big team of course you are somewhat familiar with this and mm -hmm. if you are one of those uh newer grads newer sports car practice who is the who is the medical team then mm -hmm. uh, of course you know understanding your role a little bit more and what kind of things are available what kind of things you can actually do uh that can be massively beneficial for the athletes as well as your job satisfaction i would say right right and and like you said just really truly being prepared so if you show up to cover an event and you're the only person there, you know exactly what you need to do in the worst case scenario. Um, That's and, right. You know, we can represent, you can represent yourself when we can represent our profession the best. That's right. Kind of like my, my whole thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, I really think that, um, you know, the symposium is going to be something that you'll take you to the next level. So really make sure that you uh, get on that fixed website and sign up because I think that we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, the, there's two different panels. Uh, Brian Nook is also running a panel, which will be really fun, you know, talking a little bit about working with uh, teams and what's that, you know, what, what to expect, what are the expectations there um, for them, for you, and for you, for them, right? We need two, two different yeah. directions. Uh, so I think Absolutely. that's going to be a fun panel. I would yeah. say so. And I mean, one thing we have to know, have to mention as well, is the is the taping side of things. Where there is, so we have a couple of very mm -hmm. good tapers coming on. We have Martin and uh, and obviously Steve uh, coming on, doing their bit on taping. Is there somebody else mm -hmm. doing the third taping thing as well? Ryan. I can't remember. Ryan. Oh, Ryan, so of Steve, course. Steve is doing a um, brain plasticity of taping, which is super cool, and tweak taping yeah. to teach us something different called tweak taping. Um, mm -hmm. And then we have Ryan doing a dynamic tape. And then we have Martin te teaching like the differences between the, you know, why do we use rigid tape? Why do we use dynamic tape? What's the um, cerebral stimulation of the skin with different types of tape? And, you know, how do we prep the skin for the best nociceptor response? You know, there's more than just putting tape on somebody, right? We really need to be thought out. So with these three very different perspectives, um, you're going to come away when you, uh, are done with the symposium and really understand why you would put 
a rock tape on somebody versus a dynamic tape versus a white tape. Um, That's right. And if you can accomplish that goal, you know, whether it's pain relief or range of motion restriction or a functional assessment, you know, functional assist of a muscle contraction. That's right. Yeah, there's there's a bit more to it than just wrapping duct tape around a knee or something. Yes, yeah. exactly. Why do I think that maybe you've done that in the past, Nika? Do I you... don't know. Why do I give that vibe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I may have done that. I could see you up to a marathon and just taping your own knee any old way. I probably have done stuff like that on my own knee, but I would never do that to a patient. I have to be honest. There. <laughs> That's what I mean. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, sometimes, you know, come on, if you're out on a mountain and you haven't got the fast flash right. tape, you, know, you, you make do with what you got, right? 100%. And there's a lesson there. You have to make do with it. And I think that that's an important for all sports kairos, right? <laughs> Oh, absolutely, and that's the kind of thing you know. I've been, I've been, I've been looking at this uh, speaker lineup and and having a little sort of sneak peeks. I've been looking into the you know what these guys and girls are like, mm -hmm. what they're actually what they do, and to me, you know, there's that element of really broadening that toolbox that I have, mm -hmm. because uh, again, you know, it's almost like they're taking that make and do with what we got. You know, sometimes if you rock up on site and you haven't got an activator, which happens to be your favorite tool for adjusting the heel or mm -hmm. or, or whatever. You know, so obviously you have different tools available then. So right. you, you can get the same result, but just by using different things. Right. And, you know, mm. really, having, like you said, all those tools is critical. You know, I've traveled um, to events, and I'm sure you probably have as well, where we were told once we got to the event, you can use nothing but your hands to treat. Nothing else. Don't bring out the hypervolt. Don't bring out, and you can only use your hands. Well, you've got to be ready with something more than just your hands, right? So you have to have some different things up your sleeve. So, you know, that's what it's really all about is um, truly understanding what resonates with an athlete. What does an athlete look for from you as their healthcare provider? What do they need from you as their healthcare provider? And how you can kind of mold yourself into being that if that's what your interest is. Mm, mm. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I mean, those are the kind of things that, uh, you know, most sports chiropractors will really benefit from hearing anyway. So, mm -hmm. so don't, don't delay, get your tickets now. They're still on early bird, by the way. So you'll still get the reduced rate now. Uh, mm -hmm. The early bird will expire. So hence you'll be paying out of your nose for that then. So get in there quick, get your tickets now. <laughs> okay. So there's a question um, from, from Sam. Would you recommend getting the pre and full symposium combo ticket or will the full normal ticket be great on its own? The pre-symposium is the concussion update, and that's very important. If you have not had a concussion update course in two years, then your ICSC certification will lapse. So you'll need that pre-symposium course, and that's a um, two and a half hour course in where you will get recertified. So, and you'll be required to do that every two years as these symposiums become on an annual basis. So, you know, if you haven't done that, then I would sign up for the pre-symposium. We have two very, very great head injury specialists speaking with that. Um, we have Brett and Scott Howick, um, and they're both gonna be, uh, I'm sorry, we have Jordan Nolan Key and Scott Howick doing that. Um, they're going to kind of tandem in on that. And then you'll be really fully equipped to handle all head injuries. And of Absolutely. course, yeah. And then remembering that you'll get your CE credits for attending the symposium. We have up to 12.5 credits available um, with the symposium. So that way you can um, go ahead and fulfill your uh, requirements too. Absolutely. And that's, that's obviously a very important thing. You know, a lot of people, uh, thinking where they should uh, should spend their money and and whatnot, you know, when it comes to taking courses and that. So the CE credits or CPD points in the UK and whatever they're called elsewhere, I don't even know. But you know, those are available. There's a whole shed load of those. So mm -hmm. grab them, get the con content, get educated, and enjoy it. Most importantly, yeah. Mm. I tell you, um, one thing I want to say is I really want to thank all the speakers that have truly volunteered their expertise to fix. And that's pretty uh, unbelievable. When I approached um, all the speakers, um, they all were happy to donate their time to fix um, and, and really share their knowledge with us. So I just want to kind of give a shout out to all them and their 
uh, professionalism and their willingness to help us help you grow as a sports Cairo and be the best you can be. And that's pretty amazing for a lot of these very, very busy people that are researchers and professors and um, travel all over the world covering and taking care of athletes. And, you know, I want to just take a special moment and say thank you to all them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here, here. And uh, another another couple of people who really deserve a, a, a shout out, I would say at this point, is our absolutely amazing beloved Trish, who has been putting oh, wow. uh, it's amazing. crazy heroic hours in the office, getting all this mm -hmm. stuff stuff together and bringing uh, the ragged band of fix volunteers together to try and <laughs> try and pull on the same rope. You know, and so I don't know how she has the patience to deal with us all, but thank you, Trish, for everything you do. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah, and of course, and of course, Megan, who's been uh, really running the running the show now with the uh, the chat shows behind the scenes, as well as uh, putting together a lot of the website stuff and uh, and the Pathables platform for the for the symposium. So yeah, yeah these, these ladies are absolutely amazing, and I don't know what we would do without them. Really, you're you're one hundred percent accurate. We would we would cease to exist without those guys. That's for sure. Um, and I, I agree with you, you know, thank you to both of them. And, and, you know, everybody that takes their time, you know, fixes a volunteer organization and we all take our free time after working all day, after being with family and, you know, doing all the other things that we needed to do to, to give back to the profession. And I think that's pretty special. So this is a really mm -hmm. amazing group of doctors that are just there for the right reasons, you know, not, you know, ego aside, just to really help other people move forward. And I, you know, I, I think that's amazing. It's pretty amazing. Even as we're, we made the symposium and the idea of it, everybody was just on board from the beginning and everybody was, in, you know, getting off the starting blocks and moving forward. And it was actually pretty awesome. It's been a pretty awesome process. I think it has been, you know, there's been, I picked up, I learned a lot during this process, you know, about, about people, about, about yeah. marketing. That's been my, my sort of uh, mark on the, in this journey and, and uh and, and and this process and uh it's been it's been great to be in, involved and uh really you know in, in many ways a humbling experience as well but uh knowing how little i actually knew beforehand <laughs> but yeah uh, we you take know, it on the chin and we move on that's right and you know that's the thing about fix i think is that we are a family and i know that sounds kind of hokey but as you um come into you take this the symposium with us and as you come into travel to, t to world games or events with us, you create these friendships uh, globally that just last. And there were mm. like people that all have the same common interest and interested in growing and being the best individual that you can be so that you can help others. And it's, it's a pretty amazing organization and I'm pretty passionate about it, obviously. Um, yeah. My husband will tell you I donate all my free time to fix, but it's all good. You know, it's actually um, for the right reasons. And this is really a fabulous organization to stand behind. So we hope that you come away from the symposium embracing um, fix in a different way and maybe looking into getting your ICSC certification if you don't already have it or um, so that you can come and travel to games with us. You know, meet mm. us out in Alabama. We have world games coming up in a year and a half, right? or so, yep. um, and we'll, be, we'll need some good docs out there to work with us. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot of fun working, and it's a lot of fun after work is over too. We really have a great time all together. Oh, absolutely. You know what, the, uh, the, uh, I mean, my experience with Fix Games was absolutely amazing. I, I, was, I thought about if I'm in the right, if, if I'm in my right mind when I was signing up, you know, do I wanna sort of take a, take a few days off clinic to go actually treat lots of patients, and yeah. you know, not even get paid for it. And mm -hmm. uh, but you know what? I'm so glad I did because it was it was so much fun. We had mm -hmm. we had a great group great group of doctors there, and mm -hmm. it was it was just booming the whole time. And uh, and the gratefulness, the gratitude from all the different patients coming through, and and obviously the camaraderie between the docs, you know, from all over. It was it was just I can't describe it. It was so much yeah. fun. And I would I would sign up any you know any day and go again. Yeah, me too. And you know, that's why I'm looking forward to World Games um, in Birmingham and looking forward for these um, quarantine restrictions to lift so that we can all get out there and um, take our vacation time working with athletes and traveling around the globe. Um, I see John. John. Hi, John out there. I see you made a comment. We love you, too. 
Uh, we worked with John out in Poland for World Games and Austria too uh, for bobsled. So um, mm. nice to have you with us, John. And we look forward Thank for you. Hope you're coming to the symposium. So um, yeah. So I, you know, I think just to kind of to sum up this whole process and kind of the behind the scenes of uh, the symposium, putting together a group of speakers that really can kind of stimulate the, the great minds um, and also take the student and interest them and pull them in with this as well has been a challenge, you know? So as we sit down to plan the symposium, we think about how can we get both ends? You know, how can we get that guy that's been out in practice for a number of years, learning and interested and excited? And then how do we get the student, you know, to move forward and engage and continue to grow? And so that's what we've provided is we've tried to provide you know, a spectrum of education that's good for everybody, you know, that can take any level and bring you up and pull you in. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously you've, you've done the lion's share with the, when it comes to the speakers and sweet talking them into uh, donating their time and, and material and that. So, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I really, I'm super glad that, that you're on board this organization and have these amazing connections to all the people who are now involved. So, you know, yeah. absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, what's your kind of, um, I was gonna ask you, I, was, I had a good question just now. Now it's totally uh, left my mind. Um, I can't remember. Anyways, so for the record, for the a closing ceremony and all of that, so mm -hmm. what is your favorite drink then? Well, <laughs> I tell you, I'm, having, I'm struggling because um, I mostly drink water. I. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm trying to make that a little interesting so that everybody can, you know, I'm not really, um, you know, I don't know. I'm going to come up with something, though, because I'm in competition with you and I'm a competitive person. So I will I will come up with something awesome. Oh, OK, amazing. <laughs> good. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. No, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I'm really looking forward to the symposium. I, I'm excited to... Um, hear all the speakers and you know all the things they have to bring to the table and the latest research and the latest uh, tools that we can kind of put in our tool belt when we travel with teams and, and treat people mm -hmm. in our office. And I think uh, it's gonna be a ton of fun. It's gonna be absolutely brilliant. And also then, you know, of course, uh, just to kind of round it up, so there we have the, uh, the award ceremony. I think Keith Overland has been uh, instrumental in putting that thing together and, and uh, obviously opening ceremony so we have a cool um cool speaker there uh to give us an address from the ioc i believe yes 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 we have um mikey from the ioc out in malaysia uh doing our opening uh openings keynote speaker for us and she's super excited as uh, she comes with an unbelievable wealth of knowledge um and a great experiences as as all of our speakers you know i have to say mm. honestly you asked me earlier who was my favorite speaker everybody comes with such great credentials and background that i would really have a hard time just kind of picking just one honestly just pick all then right pick all. <laughs> <laughs> they're all, all our favorite speakers <laughs> we'll be very inclusive and we'll include everyone in the top on the top top of the podium you know yes that's right. <laughs> I like that visual. <laughs> there you go. I think we'll have to somehow somehow get a photo photoshopped or something where everybody's standing on the top podium, you know. And oh, that would be send, so send, send that photo to all the speakers, you know, to put on their wall of fame at home or in the office. I think that'd be super cool. Me too. I think that would be pretty amazing, actually. That's a good idea. We're gonna make Trish look into that, how she can get that done. <laughs> well, she needs another job. <laughs> Sorry, Trish. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, so if we hear now over the next week or so that Christine Voss has been murdered in her sleep, we know who's done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. There you go. Oh, good stuff. Well, on that bombshell, I think it's time to finish uh, yeah. today's today's chat show on a, definitely on a high note. Um, <laughs> so, listen, guys, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you if you missed the show today, you know, watch, watch the recording again because this is obviously a great bit of fun. And uh, get your tickets today. 
go to Fix website, fix.sport, and, uh, and, and do the deed. Do yeah, the so right thing. We have a symposium. Yeah, Hopefully. absolutely. Get your early bird tickets now before it's too late. Awesome. Thank you, Christine, for joining us. And really you appreciate can... that you taking time and, and talking to me uh, with me again. Great talking to you as, as usual. You take care. I look forward to see, hearing your lecture, by the way. Oh, thank you. I look forward to hearing yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.